When you're just starting out in your design career, it's important to save as much money as possible because over time you will get to have that salary and that earnings that is going to enable you to purchase premium resources. So either premium images, premium fonts, premium icons, mockups and so on. But when you're just getting started, it's important for you to be able to find free resources just so that you can practice and that you can learn a bit better about how the pros are doing some certain things. So in this next section of the course, I'm going to show you some resources where you're going to get uh, free fonts, free images, free icons, mockups, and so on. So in this video, we're going to talk about free fonts, which you can use for both personal and commercial projects. So first resource is Google fonts, and it's one of the most used resources on the web because these are web optimized and based fonts, which means you can use them for both print and web design work and they will work properly because they are tried and tested from the Google fonts team. So how you can use these fonts is you can simply type in something right here. You can search fonts if you know which font you want to download. So I have this font in mind called Playfair Display. Here it is. And you can simply click right here and you can test out this font and you can type here something. So you can type in Playfair Display just so you can see how the font looks like. You can increase the size of the font right here just so that you can see how it looks like, for example, on the smaller screen, on the bigger screen right here and all the way down. So if you have a sentence in mind and you want to test it out to see, for example, how it will look like on the smaller mobile device screen, you can see it for yourself right here. Below that, we have the pairings so you can see uh, with which other fonts this font is paired well from Google fonts, obviously. So you can install these two fonts and you can use them. So you can see right here, this is the Playfair display. It's used in the title and Roboto is used right here for this paragraph. So you can see how that looks like and you can switch them around right here. So now you can see that the Roboto is the one for the uh, title and the Playfair display is the one used for the paragraph. And you can pair some of these right here as well. And you can see the usage. So uh, which countries are using this font the most. You can scroll all the way down to see how many times this font is used. Further information so you can read more about the lines if you want to about the font. So who designed the font and so on. Here you can see some special characters which are included inside of the fonts and how Glip looks like. So you can, for example, if you are designing for your customers who are somewhere outside, so for example, Russia or my country, Serbia or something like that, you can have this Cyrillic font and you can see how it looks like if you want to use that for those projects. Finally, when you want to download the font, any font from Google Fonts, you can simply click select this font and it will add it right here and say one family selected. Why one family? Well, because you have some major styles and weights of this font included inside. So you have, for example, regular and italic, bold, semi bold and so on. So depending on the font, you will have more or less of these options when you download a particular font. So you can see right here, if you want to use it for the web straight away, you can embed it using this code. For example, you can specify it in CSS. So you can see right here how that code should look like. And you can uh, use this getting started guide for examples of how fonts can be added to web pages. If you're designing for the web and you start coding and you want to use this font, for example, you can use this guide to learn more about how you can implement this particular font into your website. You can even go right ahead and further customize, customize it so you can see how many of these ways are right here. So you can select all of them for example if you want to uh, download all of them you can see in languages so which languages are supported and you can see what kinds uh, of text which is what I was talking about about this Cyrillic are supported right here so you can select all of them or you can simply uncheck all of them and for example I just want to use a regular and you can simply click right here to download this font. You can even use Sky fonts, which is sort of an extension. And you can use that extension to install and use the fonts from the Google fonts uh, font library more easily onto your machine. 
What's next is simply you can install this font like you regularly do on your machine and you'll be ready to go. It will show up in Adobe XD just as it does in all of the other software. And one more uh, resource I want to mention is Creative Market. So they sell premium resources and you can click right here where it says get free goods. And each week they are sending out six free goods. So sometimes they are including some uh, interesting fonts right here. You can simply share these ones down below if you want to unlock them. And all of these are different each week. So for example, we don't have any font included, but wait for another week and maybe you can get to download the free font. All you have to do right here is create a free account. You can use your Facebook, you can use uh, your email, just create a free account and you can simply then download and use all of these resources inside of Adobe XD if that's something that you want. Finally, we have Adobe fonts and you can use these fonts right here and you can browse them uh, all. But the difference between Google fonts and Adobe fonts is Google fonts are all free, while with Adobe fonts you have some which are free and you have others which are premium. So you can explore a bit more and you have to select which of these fonts you want to use. You can see these packs, for example, and you can see right here how it works. So you have to browse fonts, you have to activate them. So you can simply use the toggle when you want to begin using a font or a group of fonts. So if you remember from the installation of XD video, I told you that you have to create a free Adobe account in order for you to download XD and install it on your machine, you can then use that free account to activate these fonts and you can then simply use them in your Adobe XD. You can see some of them and how they look like and you can browse all of them right here and you can simply click on the fonts and it will take you to the fonts list and you can simply view family and then simply activate the ones you want to use on your machine but just uh, if you're getting started and you don't have the premium Adobe package, you can use free fonts right here. So you can click here with the name and the newest, you can uh, sort them out like so. You can choose a sample, so which text you want to appear right here. So you can see how that looks like, you can sort them out and so on and so forth. So that's basically it for the fonts. In the next video, we're going to talk about free images, why they are important, and especially where you can find them on the web so you can use them on your projects. So I'll see you there.